In today's video, we're going to count down the best rides at Subtropical Spring Paradise. So starting off our video with a classic, we have got Wave Pool. And the thing about Wave Pools is that no matter whether you are a tropical cyclone rider or a deck chair sitter, they are always there for you to splish and splash, bob around to the waves and all around just have a good fun time. And what I love so much about this Wave Pool is that amongst having all of that, it has got some, if not the most beautiful scenery that I have ever seen around a wave pool, with many rock formations, trees and all of that stuff just immersing you start to finish within this beautiful area. Even so, if you do not get as excited as I do when seeing a few rocks and trees or you want something a bit more adventurous than just a wave pool, then look no further than our next attraction Canyon Ride. This right here is basically a lazy river, a water site and a wild water rapids all in one, as once you set off down the side itself, you will begin by dropping into a dark hole, before then coming outside where you can see some real beautiful trees, as you make your way around many twists and turns. It's not steep like a slide, but rather flat like a canyon, but you'll still be getting water thrown in your face as you get chucked around the bend, all before the final drop, basically another miniature slide, before going into the pool. So yeah, I'm not sure whether I love this attraction, or it's just a mare ride, but at the end of the day it's very unique, and if you're visiting on a busy day, do this one first, as you may not be able to do it elsewhere. Now throughout this video, we have had some very creative names, from wave pool, to canyon ride, to now my favourite one, Waterside, which believe it or not is a waterside. And what is so funny about this attraction is not only has it got a very creative name, but the layout is just as creative. As instead of twisting and turning, dropping and doing all of that stuff, what you will be doing is just going down one slope into the water. Yeah, that's it. Saying that, sometimes that is all you need and without having a very wide layout, you never know, you can race someone down here or even ride with someone else as you make your way down the slope. Who here is feeling competitive? Well if that is the case, then look no further than our next attraction, Flume Ride. Sorry, Flume's Ride. As even though from first sight this may just seem like one tube that has got many open areas, enclosed areas, many twists and turns, as well as some pretty dark sections where you do not know when the next element is coming, but in reality, it is not one flume, but two. Therefore, by the racing, you can turn one of your friends into enemies, frenemies, and whilst one goes down one way, you can go down the other way, and so you make it to the bottom first. The question is though, are you going to become a flume's ride champion, or would you rather head on to our next attraction, Tropical Cyclone? Nah, probably not. This is the park so-called family raft side, as even though yes, this time you'll be turning your frenemies back into friends with you boarding a four person raft, what you'll be heading through may lead those friends to turn back into your enemies, as with the raft all facing inwards, when you then make your way round the loud, consisting of many twists and turns, some drops, and oh yeah, the giant final section in which you roll back and forth down before coming out of the end, with you all facing inwards, you'll be able to see one another's reactions, and if you're like me, who may scream the entire way round, trust me when I say, they will never, ever let you forget it. Thank you all for watching, bye bye.